Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to continue on exactly where we left off in the last by filling out the new states we created. I'm sure some of you are aware there's a red error here. And that's my fault, I just forgot to copy where we have player one states equals line. So let's come and paste that in. I'm sure most of you have figured that out for yourselves, but let's just quickly fix that up and we'll continue on. And we'll start with the player jump forward. So we'll begin by in fact, we can copy quite a lot of this. In fact, let's copy it all and we'll just go through and change it as we go. So, here we go. Player 1, move direction equals a new vector 3. We need to change this to player jump horizontal I'll break that up for commenting now and I'll paste that part of the comment below so all we're doing is just defining an X value as well as a Y value this time so, we'll actually need to put a minus in front of player jump horizontal because when we move to the right of the screen, it's actually a minus in world space. So, let's go through and check everything else. We'll get rid of the normalized from the player one move direction line. We don't need that. And let's have a look all the way through this. And we can just change this last part to come down Forward. So let's just copy that naming convention and just this last part here. So let's tidy up the comments. And we'll just save that off there. So we'll move on to jump backwards. And again, let's just copy all of this. And we'll paste that in as well. So, let's have a look. This needs to be changed from a minus to a plus. And we need to change this to come down backwards. So, let's change that out there. Obviously, we've copied and pasted from the other one, so the normalized is already removed. And we want to come down forwards now. So, let's just copy everything from the come down state. And we'll change what needs to be changed. So, come down forwards. Play one move direction, new vector three. Again, minus underscore player jump horizontal. So let's just tidy up the comments here. And again, I'll paste this into the next line. 
So let's paste that in and go through the rest of it. I don't think we need to change anything else really. So if player is grounded, player one idle, yep, that's all correct. So let's again copy this. And let's come to come down backwards and I'm sure you've guessed we're going to change that from a minus to a plus. Again, once we land, we want to switch to the idle state. So we'll just save that off there. So filling out them fours functions was actually pretty quick. And let's come down now. Now, why we've got an extra line there, we'll just get rid of that. And let's come to the animation sector. And in this lesson, because we, we've still got a, a bit of time here, let's just copy the one of these private voids. I'm going to copy and paste the player jump anim. And of course, if you want a different animation to play when coming down, you can obviously just add a line like we've done here and just create a new function here. So player come down anim or whatever you want to call it. But well, let's just copy one of those in. So player and let's create some functions in preparation. So we're going to create a private void player high punch and I am going to say anim. And we'll copy and paste that in three more times. We'll change that to low punch. This one to high kick. And let's have a look to low kick here. And let's save that off for now. So, let's have a look exactly where we've got to with the rest of the script. And I don't think we're going to do much more today because in the next lesson we are actually going to start working on the actual striking. And we'll handle the inputs and the calling of the animation from the array. And um, we'll go over all of that in a separate lesson, I think. So, again, a pretty short and sweet video for today. But as always, I hope, still hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.